Hello everybody, this is Shireen Kapoor. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I had to come back to my YouTube today and make a video on immigration plans that Sean Fraser, Minister Sean Fraser has recently announced, maybe yesterday as a I'm sure it's all over the internet. You can go find the figures, numbers of how their data looks like. But I'm going to talk about what is the impact, what is what you can expect and you know what is the long term and short term goals for the immigration department. So it's uh, very important first of all for you to understand that Canadian immigration is all dependent on uh, the Canadian economy is all dependent on Canadian immigration because a lot of the fiscal deficit is going to be covered by the immigrants. This is one thing that was sure by the economic minister as well because immigrants obviously when immigrants come they bring with them money they bring with them opportunities for local people and that is one of the major things in holistically you have to keep in mind the second thing is that what they have announced uh, when they when it comes to the immigration level plans they have obviously increased the number from 411 11 lakh something to 432 lakhs so obviously that means the level of immigrants have increased however the focus again like last year is going to be to make the local people your transition into permanent residency so what do i mean by that when i say is that tr to pr is going to be something that they want to cover in this year plus next year they want to also cover the pnps people who are already studying here people who are already here of course there is no news about canadian experience class which should have been and that is a disappointment which uh, a lot of people are uh, saying uh, in immigration it's a disappointment because people's post graduation work permit are expiring and some work permits for uh, a lot of lmie applicants are expiring they are unable to renew because it's again lmi is dependent on the employer and hence uh, it's kind of a tough time for those people but however when it comes to express entry the government has promised that express entry draws are going to uh, are going to be there not if not this year but uh, especially fsw i'm talking about if not this year then probably next year and next to next year they're going to uh, call in about 111 something uh, applicants from that particular draw and this year also there is uh, going to be a 50000 to 60000 applications that are going to be taken in from express entry so Let's be clear on the facts that now what is going to work. Of course, we can't cry, cry and crib over the situation. Even when I talk to anybody in the immigration, they say it's an unprecedented situation. It is something that is not in our hands. And hence, we need to be very practical in the approach. We can't crib and cry over the situation. As immigration lawyers, you can understand that our work is also partially affected. But again, there are alternative ways of working around the programs which are temporary. So all these um, budgeting plans and all these immigration plans are coming out for permanent residents how uh, tr will be converted to pr or how people will come as economic immigrants so but there are other programs which the, nobody talks about and which of course is again a temporary entry to canada so today i'm going to tell you about those temporary residence programs which are available to you and which you should keep in mind because their processing is happening everything is taking place the, the, let's talk about temporary residence according to the law temporary residence can be of three types it can be a visit visa of course you're not going to come on visit unless you have a purpose you it can be a work permit and it can be a study visa so a lot of our applicants are now trying to divert towards the work permit and we encourage that practice because there are work permits which are easily available like the intra company work permit like the self employed work permit or the owner uh, the lmi approved work permits so there are certain kind of things that are happening of course startup visa is again a permanent resident application that is again they are taking so they have mentioned 1000 applications from economic federal business that they that is impliedly startup visa so uh, for a particular span of a uh, year so you have to uh, keep in mind that there are alternative options available and you should work around those alternative options now when it comes to processing delays in work permit or processing delays in any other temporary application also it is also because IRCC was uh, lacking staff, was lacking, lacking the kind of AI systems which they are now developing. They are hiring, they have, you uh, honestly, they have hired here 100, 800 more officers and that is something that you need to see in a positive light uh, i understand time is not right it is it is a situation which has never happened before with them also but 
in the end immigrants are the only people who can pull them up it be it by a student visa because you bring in money and give it to the university and again it's money coming in the economy be it work permit you are business entrepreneur and work permits you come here you hire people you run your business because eventually also you have to run your show so again it is a beneficial program for them the only thing we have to assess is you should be eligible to apply for the same so if you are eligible and you need an assessment be it study visa or be it uh, temporary residency or be it even a permanent resident application under start a visa you can let us know and if we are there for you we can help you we can guide you i uh, myself believe in absolute honest advisory if i don't think a client is eligible for a program i don't really recommend that even you must have heard that you are eligible from 110 places but that is something i like to maintain because it's more about quality than about quantity for us and um, so yeah if there is any other questions put in the comment section and love to comment back and uh, keep expecting such more videos i'm going to make about more videos related to especially about study visa how refusals are happening why refusals are happening and study visa is something that i want to now focus on and if you guys are interested do comment in the comment section thank you